It's DJ Holiday and Ebony, a.k.a. the Averys. Stay tuned. Dinner with Averys, episode seven. How y'all doing, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? Back at it again, of course, man. With me, as always, my beautiful, uh, voluptuous, uh. sexy... Shiny lip wife, how Ooh. you doing? Hey y'all. E Jizzle is how what y'all they call doing? her. What's up, E? What's up, babe? How you doing, man? I'm DJ Holiday, <laughs> as y'all already know. Really? So, hi, DJ Holiday. How are you today? Don't call me that, baby. Hey. You, know, really. <laughs> you gotta do that. Yeah, I don't. What's up, though? What's up, babe? I'm. I'm well, good. listen. Let's 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 address. State the obvious. You know, the devil's always busy, and I want y'all to understand that when you're just having a moment in your life, or you're having a week that's just weakened. Like Ebony says, life be life. Uh Just understand that God got your back. And God, well, the devil tried to attack dealing with the Avery. Yes. We had the episodes coming. What did you say? We had them coming what, babe? Back to back to back. Back to back We completed. We gave y'all. We we completed because me and Ebony got really busy. Mm -hmm. And we recorded. We we pre-recorded two episodes. Pre-recorded two episodes. Two episodes for y'all so we can keep them coming. Yes. Back to back to back. And something haven't happened. Yeah, man. With um, we gonna tell y'all who. Yeah. With at TTP Productions, y'all make sure y'all go to him. <laughs> Damn. At TTP Productions. At TTP Productions, right? Yeah, they uh. So we had the two episodes, and he messed up. He didn't mess up. Dropped his hard drive. He had an accident. And our. <laughs> he had an accident. We ain't gonna kill him like that. I'm bro. just playing. But he did drop his hard drive in real life, and our episodes were ruined. We were waiting we even to tried see to if they would be them. salvaged, yeah. but they couldn't be salvaged. Nope. So that is the reason for our But hiatus. two amazing episodes, um, A-Town Legends, we're so excited, and they have um, agreed to reshoot the episode. So thank you for that. Thank you guys so much. I know y'all going to see this episode. But, uh, yeah, so we'll get those to you uh, as soon as possible. And uh, we're going to, you know, keep going and keep rolling. But the devil's always busy. I want you to know that. And, uh God got our back, and we good. So thank you. That's right. Regardless. At TTP Productions. Yeah. He did it. His fault. He's learned his lesson. (laughs) And we're back rolling. Yes, but anyway, since then, in that (laughs) hiatus, we have done, it's been a lot of things that have happened. Yeah, man. Spew it out. Your your Hollapalooza concert. Jesus, it's been there. Your Hollapalooza concert. (laughs) Hollapalooza, yes. It was success. (laughs) Shout out to Holla Palooza. Yes, oh, my God. We uh, did that. We went to the BET Awards. We went to the BET Awards. the BET Awards. I did that. I definitely did that. We, did uh, we that. went to Red Carpet. You we look, did the you Red Carpet. Am- Shout out amazing. to Raven staying on our butt. Man, Raven, Raven yes. was like a, like a publicist slash. She was. Just cussing people out and stuff. <laughs> Raven was our publicist that night. She's our producer of the show, guys. Yes. But that night, she was Raven our publicist. Raven trumped everybody at BET. Like, y'all, this dinner with the Avery. This a- is dinner with the Avery, y'all. I, was, I like, was super impressed. Like, she seen us change clothes. She's yes, all the way in the she circle. She did her all thing. The way in the so, circle, shout so. out to Raven. Shout out to we Raven. even got a feature on, um, who? Uh, uh, Ebony Magazine. Was or, it Ebony? Yeah, it was Ebony, right? Yeah, we that, got a feature on Ebony's. Essence, Essence, Essence Magazine. Instagram. Yeah, Instagram. Their Instagram. And we was up there with, like, uh, the we Brad, the Brad and, and We was um, with um, Yandy, I think. Yandy and, and, and uh, Matta D.C. is his name? I forgot his <laughs> name. I, I mess it up every time. I'm sorry, brother. You know I fuck with you. Um, <laughs> um, we were with but, a lot of couples, and that was pretty yeah. dope. So shout out to Raven once again. She made that happen. Man, look, bro. So. You got, you got, it's always great to have good people on your team yes. that, uh, you know, don't lose things, don't break stuff. But I always want to put <laughs> stuff together and make stuff happen and get stuff done. So That's shout right. out to Raven. Shout out to Raven. She oh, speaking of which, Raven was on. It was a lot of um, like if you Google me, it had Ebony Jones. Everybody knows that Jones oh, yeah, is yeah. my maiden name. Raven was on it, like uh, uh-uh, uh, Ebony Avery or Ebony Jones Avery, but it ain't Ebony Jones. Like she was on them. So shout out to Raven. Thank you, Raven. I appreciate you, you for love doing a, that. You gotta love a Raven uh, yes. too out here. What street. else happened since then? Uh, Ryan. Our daughter, Our daughter turned, turned nine, nine years old. Yeah, she turned oh nine years God. old. We had an amazing, we had uh, a messy slime party. party. Oh, yeah, that was cool. I'm glad we got through that. Um, yeah, that was that you was. You know, Ryan, rough. Ryan, Ryan, giving me them vibes, man. Like I was telling my friend the other day, I said my daughter's like, she's real opinionated. She's and, hormonal, and, and rolling the neck at me, and not in a bad way. She's very disciplined, but she just, you know, just asking a lot of questions and. She's oh, no. very I, emotional I lately. She... I, I got friends who got 
daughters that are like 13, 15, and, you know, but I feel it. Ryan's getting there. It's comfortable. So, parents, if y'all got any tips, parents of girls that are nine and up, let me know what I got to look for it to because this stuff is all Tammy new to me. Tammy told you she hated her daughter. This is longest. all new to me, and I am not ready. Like, I'm yeah. talking about we we bumping heads on her cleaning her room, keeping her room clean. Yeah. Like, I just. It's just a lot. Ooh. And I feel it. And then she ain't number nine. I'm not ready. Yeah. Today, I got her dressed. And she came in the room, and she wanted to wear rings. Like, she wanted a thumb ring like me. Mm. She wanted to change her earrings. And I'm like, yo, I'm not I'm not ready for this yet. Like, Yeah, so Ryan's hormones are kicking in, and she's <laughs> she's turning that curve. I, I feel it, she's man. She's getting that, there. That's, you know this is the last. This is it. She's nine. Yeah, it's going to be double digits. Next year, you'll have a double-digit kid. Maybe. I ain't ready for it. I'm what not else? ready. What else? Uh, um, uh, one Music Fest. Uh, one we went Music to that. Fest that was, was fun. dope. Shantere, mm-hmm. we didn't know you went. We heard you was in the crowd somewhere with some boy. Uh, uh, what else? Travis built the stage. Travis built the stage. TTP Productions again, y'all. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and drop their stuff, though. Um, what else happened? We didn't miss. Oh, let me address the, the big, huge elephant in the room because you guys have been blowing up my TikTok. Y'all have been blowing up my Instagram. I did not know that this was going to go as viral as it did. What? But... Everybody has been asking and asking and asking and asking and asking, where is the push gift? What did you get? What did he get you? Oh, okay. Well, guys. I don't care. I, can take I have not got a push gift yet. Okay, so. I can, still can haven't I, I still haven't got it. Well, let me tell you something. First and foremost, I never put the pressure on myself to say that I was getting a push gift. You did. Say, no, 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 you no, no, no. You said you was no. getting two. Are you going to let me talk? Sorry. Okay, so. I am dedicating the episode to a push gift. But, yes, my career got in the way, of course, of us working and doing a lot of stuff. And back-to-back, as we say, all the names we've been naming. And, no, I and I, and I thought it I've seen this da, stuff. Da, because you da, guys, you no, no, I'm not stuttering. <laughs> yes, I are. have seen all the TikToks, and I've seen the DMs, and she mm-hmm. shows me the stuff y'all are saying. Mm-hmm. And I even see you goofy-ass niggas in her DMs acting like yeah, I'm Yeah, they said they'll buy me push gifts. Yeah, but I don't give a fuck about that, okay? <laughs> you can't buy my wife a push gift for the child that I have. Well, no, they said they would buy me a push gift for our future kids. That's what they said. Oh, okay. Okay, you didn't tell me about that. Sorry. So you can just read the comments on the TikTok. Okay, cool. Well, like I said, <laughs> I'm going to dedicate an episode to the push gift because I want to present it to you guys since you guys are so concerned about me buying my wife a push gift. But you, and I will. Babe, you brought it up. You the one that said you would no, bring it No, 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 no. I didn't bring podcast. anything up. You <laughs> brought it up. You made this no. whole push gift thing a situation where... I, you need it now. You need no, it, you I know. didn't say, babe, I didn't. Yeah, I just did. said, babe, yeah, why did. have I never got a push gift? And you was okay. like, you know what? And then you made I'm a whole bring episode you a about gift. it, and then y'all ne- cut it up and no, edited it no, to no, where no. it was all about me. Baby. And then, Ooh. yeah, that's what y'all did. So listen, babe. So post-production, thank you. Let me tell you, you what you did. For destroying my life. No. no. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> that's not what happened. You was like, oh, okay, I'm going to get you a push gift. And you know what? I'm going to get you two push gifts. You said it, and you said, I'm going to bring it on the next podcast. Because. You volunteered I, all those things. I didn't even ask. That's fine. And so, I have no issue getting you a push gift for two I, I or whatever I have not received like it yet, you guys. But when because I do. I'm trying to figure out the level of the push gift I should get. When I get it, guys, I'll make sure I do a, a TikTok. And me, I'm going to do it a video show. to show you guys when, whenever it is that I get it. I'm, I'm actually, it's like if I don't get it. It don't even matter at this point. It's okay. I didn't know it was a timeline on me putting a push gift. You only waited well, I mean, nine I've years only to had, talk about yeah, it. I've only, I only have a nine-year-old. It's okay. Okay, so great. It's okay. So <laughs> speaking of that, somebody said push gifts only came about because most of them are baby mamas and not wives. Do you think push gifts are for baby mamas and not wives or what? I don't even know what push gifts are for. Like, I, I get it. Push I, gifts are for you I having I know what you're saying. A child. I, I didn't, but I was like, so, like I told you earlier. Or a couple episodes back, I wasn't. I, I wasn't. Um, um, I didn't. I didn't acknowledge it because I didn't know. I wasn't. I've never talked to another guy who's like, "Yo, I got to get my wife a push gift." I just didn't. You know, we've been on trips like right after you had a baby or things like that, and mm-hmm. you know, I just like I said, and then you know, I think you set the bar so high because you kept saying, "Oh, this guy got to do a girl car." This well, guy, a lot of dudes get cars. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, I don't know a lot of dudes who get girls cars. For well, your baby. friend just got her. Um, um, Hamza just got his uh, fiance who? a car, a new Range Rover. Who? Hamza. Oh well. Okay. <laughs> 
I'm just saying. I, you said you she don't had know. a baby. She hasn't had it yet. It's oh. a pre. It's a. It's before you have the baby. So I'll have to ask him. Cause I'll see him. We're going there. Yeah, she posted it on Instagram. She but said she my said push is... gift. He even posted it and said it was her push gift. Go look at his page. I'm gonna stop talking about <laughs> it. <'cause y'all laughs> I'm just, just saying. I'm making it worse. I'm just saying. Okay. So you don't. Let me just ask one more question about it. No, do you I don't think? Talk about a push gift. Thing. Okay. I no, keep going. Go ahead. No, I was just gonna say, do you think women should get push gifts? So you don't feel like they I, should? Obviously, I guess so. I mean, did you give her a push gift? Okay. They don't have a baby. <laughs> Would you be expecting a push gift? See, she doesn't even know. Really, she doesn't say. Well, anybody that. else that has kids, Shantaria, we're not asking you. you Raven know got a push gift. Okay, I get it. But guys. I'm saying, so so listen. This is like what I'm it is. Let me just this episode talking. About okay, but let me just explain it to you. It's just like a token of appreciation, saying thank you for, or either it's after the baby. Thank you for giving birth to my baby, or thank you for doing all that you're doing to have my child. Because it's a sacrifice on the woman. And you get a car for that. You get a gift. It's like what you feel like the woman should get. It's like a token of appreciation. So if you feel like she worth a purse or you feel like she worth a watch, somebody said she got a trip to somewhere. If you feel like she worth a trip, somebody said she just got a new Apple phone. Like if you feel like okay. that's what a person is worth, that's what you. I, I've only heard cards and stuff like that. So no, it's was, if you look on my TikTok, people say it all type. People somebody get said intimidated because they don't. Know somebody said the they level. got a new Stanley Cup. How do you put like, a, how just, you put a price on a kid? You don't put a price on a kid. It's all about knowing your wife or your girlfriend or or whoever, your baby mama. I think girlfriend's getting a push gift. No. Okay. That's what I just asked. A girlfriend? No. I know girl you just with. All right. Well. Because y'all don't know if y'all going to be together or not. Sorry. <laughs> well, speaking of girlfriends, you're not knowing if you're going to be with somebody. What you think about this list that came out? So there's a list that says all the list of places that men should not take a woman. Oh, on the cheesecake factory. On the first date, yes. You saw that viral pro- post mm-hmm. where the girl, the lady would not get out the car because her, I don't know what he was, her boyfriend or somebody took her, or no, not her boyfriend. They were on a first date, and he took her to the cheesecake factory. She so would not get out the car. He walked because around, he tried opened to the take door. Her cheesecake factory for their first date. Well, he had plans on taking her somewhere else, but because she was late, his only other option was Cheesecake Factory. And but she, didn't she get out felt the car. like she just was too good for Cheesecake Factory. So she what probably, you, what she do probably you think want about a house that? for a push gift, huh? Horrible. <laughs> you go back to the push. These women, boy. Y'all just. Babe, do you feel like, would you take a woman to Cheesecake Factory on a first date? I don't think it's even about that. You know, I really get irritated with stuff like this, so <laughs> I'm going to get pissed and say the wrong thing. I don't want to offend nobody who listens okay, to Okay, so would you take a woman to the Cheesecake Factory on the first date? Absolutely. Really? But now, in this in, day and age, you would? I don't fucking date on this day and age. I, you're with me. Please. I know, but, I, okay, just say, like, God forbid, but just say if we broke God up forbid. and you were starting. Yeah, God forbid this happens. We broke up and you were starting a relationship with someone else. Where would you take a person for their first date? If we broke up, I would never date again. And that's just the way it is. I would you are not hide in a these closet and never do anything. No, conversational pieces. Okay, so like, uh no, if you <laughs> No, I don't I don't think you should put a I mean, obviously, in certain places you would not go. I've seen the list. I think Waffle House and things like that were on there and stuff mm-hmm, like that. Mm-hmm. And I definitely think you should impress somebody. Uh, the first two or three days, but I don't think it should be like this is where you cannot take me. And the Cheesecake Factory isn't bad now. You Cheesecake can spend, Factory, you Applebee's, can, you can, Chili's, okay, Chipotle, Applebee's, Olive Garden. Yeah, those the places, movies. That's regular degula. Let's go have lunch and have a conversation. Red Lobster. Red Lobster is amazing. Like y'all tripping. <laughs> Like, I don't Ice like cream life. dates, coffee dates. See, coffee movie dates. Night, those are bowling, all conversational pieces. I seen like nightclubs. Go, go to the house. Nightclub. That's where I work at. What like, if you I think come? our first date, we went Mexican? to a Mexican restaurant. And La it Fonda. was delicious. We, that was our first date. Of course, that was God knows how many years ago, but okay. we went to La Fonda and look at us. We still together. Yeah, because like, you didn't. I wish you would have been like, I don't want to be here. This place isn't good enough for me. Like, it wasn't even about that. It was about being with that person, getting mm-hmm. to know that person, 
uh, you know, learning that person, things like that, not mm -hmm. uh, putting a price tag. That You would have looked super dumb, materialistic, and then I, that's a turnoff to me. I mean, because there's a million women out here, and I ain't got to deal with that type of stuff. But let me let me ask I'm this, not. though. As, as, a man, as a man, do you feel like you're, like, just say, like, the woman. So if a man is taking a woman on a, on a date for the first date, the woman wants to put on her nicest clothes, her nicest shoes. She wants to have the nicest hairstyle. If she wears makeup, she getting a full face of makeup. She wants to look the best yeah, this, way this is a full she could possibly look, of you right? Showing, yeah. So do you feel like you're supposed to put it all out there? Like, this is what you have to look forward to if you no, date I, me. I think, I think so. Saying, now let me finish. So saying, like, I'm not gonna take her to the Cheesecake Factory because she gonna think I'm cheap or something like that. So, do you supposed to take a person to a five star restaurant because you're like, oh, she gonna think like this is what she expects when she was with me or something? You know what I'm saying? Well, like, this is the thing y'all gotta understand. Not every man has a four five hundred dollar you know, budget to take a girl right, on a date. Right, I don't understand. Right. Like, where are all these guys y'all thinking that's taking y'all to all these five-star restaurants? Because Cheesecake Factory, you can easily spend $200 now. Mm -hmm. If you get an appetizer, like y'all both get appetizer, an entree, and a dessert, and have a couple babe. drinks. You crazy. <laughs> and a cheesecake? You can spend $200 <laughs> at Cheesecake Factory. Y'all bugging. I've went on 100,000 dates, and you definitely can. Cheesecake can't. Factory? Not Cheesecake Factory, but Cheesecake Factory is not no low-end spot. Like you said, Applebee's. Hell no, I would never go there because the steak the tastes like a tire or something. You know, it's, no, it's the quality of food. But, no, if you, like, say I just met you. Mm -hmm. You a bad chick. I'm like, oh, my God, I got to show up. I got to show out for her. Right. I'm going to set the bar high because I'm sure you're dating at the time and you're going to go on a bunch of other dates because I'm not the only nigga that you're fucking with. So, yeah, I'm going to take you to the, the, the big boy spot. Right, that's to show, what I'm saying. To, to show my value, like, oh, hell no, nah, that nigga took me here, so, and then another nigga might take you here. Mm -hmm. So that's what I would do, it, but that's just me. But everybody can't do that. And like I said, once right. upon a time, I was that guy who was like, I'm not taking her to spend no, and you know that because you kind of, I want to say train me, but you put me in a position where you was like, nah, nigga, you got to do this if you want to keep my attention. And that, and rightfully so, that's show life. You can do that. You did that to me. It's it's a person's standards. And yeah. I mean, I, I don't feel like you should. And I think after I did good a couple times, then we was cool with doing all the other stuff because at that time it was just, I just want you in my presence and let's have fun. Right. You know, so that's where the Cheesecake Factory, the late night Waffle House is, you know, oh, man, we ain't nothing to eat. It's too late. Let's get some, you know, I wouldn't eat Applebee's, huh? but, you know, shit like that. I mean, I don't know. I just feel like you don't have to spend a lot of money. Like, if you don't have a lot of money, then there's other ways you can be creative. Yeah, be you creative. Know, like, like, I see, like, but they at my said house you can't have go dinner. To, you can't go to their house. You can't. But that's not a first date anyway. You're not doing it. Why would it you let somebody? It says no ice cream dates, no bowling, that, and things like that. Like, I love bowling. Those things are fun. I would, bowling and ice cream is amazing. Like, yeah. I, they're stupid. That's I don't stupid. know who made this list, but a lot of these places the are stereotypical goofy girls who are thinking that every nigga is supposed to be 6'3 with a big dick and money and fucking take you everywhere and buy you a house and a car the first time y'all meet. Get the fuck out of here. It's not real. You're going to be single for the rest of your fucking life, and you're st stuck in this whirlwind, and you're thinking that, that that's all you're going to – like, that's that's not real. That's Instagram, and that's, for, that's why y'all so fucked up, and y'all can't get a nigga anyway. You're not. You're going to have eight baby daddies, and you're going to be out here stuck forever. Like, stop it. Okay, and I'm not trying to offend anybody for real, but yeah, I'll be watching these Instagrams and I get upset because I'm like, y'all be doing the most, and I be like, bro, stop. That's why niggas make videos of y'all like walking past a nigga who you think walking past you on the street, then he get in this fucking Lamborghini, and then you get in that shit. Look, that shit make y'all look stupid for real. Like niggas ain't like that shit's whack, bro. And it's a hundred million. It's a hundred million girls <laughs> out here that are that are that are just fine with. Go in the fucking Cheesecake Factory and Applebee's. And those will be the ones that niggas wife up. And then you be on Instagram envy because they got their shit together. And they got a, a foundation with a lifestyle. That's it. Well, okay. Nigga, that's real, though. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. On that note. The food is here, ladies Woo! and gentlemen. Yummy, yummy. 
All right, now this looks like a uh, finger food at its best. What's going on? Yes, sir. Yeah, sir, what's up, Chef John? What's going on, my guy? How you what doing, is sir? this I'm today, doing, Chef John? I see a little chicken, a little beef. Is that yeah. beef? Yeah. Um, these are pulled, um, pulled pork. Um, quesadillas. Pork. Pulled pork. Smoked, smoked pulled pork. Uh, Even they don't like uh, guacamole. <laughs> Why you had to blast me? I wasn't gonna say nothing. I just oh, was gonna okay. move oh, it oh, off she was just to going, the side. Oh, okay. I don't know. Show like the texture. <laughs> yeah, ah. I'm a texture person, and I can't do. Got you. I can't do avocado. Can't do avocado. It's, 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 it's too much. It's too much. It's so good for you. It's though. too it's, mushy. It's, it's really good for you though. I can't. What is this today? What you said? Pulled pork. Quesadillas. Hey, hey. Pulled pork. Yes, sir. Smoked pulled pork. Quesadillas. Hmm. Some guacamole. Some sour. You cream. can make a quesadilla pretty much with anything, huh? You really can. Like, yeah. You can. Yeah. yeah. For the most part. That's good. Mm-hmm. You said a smoked pulled pork. Mm-hmm. How you smoke it? Coals, put oh. it in aluminum foil a little bit, and room. don't put it directly on the coals. You put it to the side so the so the wood and the coals can smoke it. Mm. <laughs> it's good, babe. Yeah. Mm-hmm, it's good. So, Chef John. Yes, ma'am. We was just having a discussion. Okay. About the viral list that's going around and, and the video that went around about the girl saying she didn't want to go to the Cheesecake Factory on the first date. How do you feel about that? Would you take a girl to the Cheesecake Factory on the first date? Yes. Really? Absolutely. What the, the hell is... Date. On tell, the first date? Tell, tell, the tell them why. There is nothing wrong with Cheesecake fact, the Cheesecake Factory. They have good drinks. They have a big-ass menu. Mm. And at the end of the night, you're going to get you some cake. <laughs> cheesecake. Some cheesecake. I mean, let me say oh, that. Oh, I thought you Let was... me just say... Let me say... Let me, let me clear about it. Over hey, mine all in the gutter. <laughs> Lord, hammer. Yeah, no slew over See, here. Just had to clarify. We're talking about cheesecake. I definitely thought you were talking about another cake. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah. No, we're not talking about that cake. What cake are you trying to give? Yeah. Out? Well, yeah. What cake are you I referring was, to? I mean, the way he said it, he said the end of the night you're gonna get cakes. Damn, like, cheesecake. cheesecake. That's what we ordered at the end. Oh. You know okay. what cake, cheesecake you get? Mm, and I get. Mm, mm. So you don't see nothing wrong with it though. So if you were I trying don't. to like impress a girl for the first date, mm-hmm. Cheesecake Factory is fine. That's fine for me. Mm-hmm. No, I mean what for for a first date, normally what I do, psh, I'm a cook. But I'm just saying mm-hmm. like Well, they don't want to go to your house of course. Right, they want to pull up right. because it's the house That's on the list and it's two thousand twenty three. It's on the list. You're not um, supposed to Yeah, take they're not supposed to, supposed to go yeah. to your crib. I, yeah, I got you. So yeah. watch Netflix. I don't see anything wrong with cheesecake. I think that the 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 mindset of this new generation of dating is just completely Thank fucked you. up because it's like you missed my segment earlier, but okay, I think it's fucked up I, because I the channel thing about, Kevin Samuel. I feel you, bro. <laughs> I'm with you because my thing is, it's like you know, we are we talk are we dating or what are we doing? It's like what are we what are we talking about? You're it's getting like, to know each other. We're getting to so know each other, really, so it's like it shouldn't matter really it, where you're eating at because all. You should be just having a conversation. You know what? I, 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 I um I recall a, a situation where. This is before you eat. But I walked out on a date because the girl, no, for real, the girl was like, but I was, with, it was a group before of people. Me, huh? Yeah, I mean, it was a group of people, <laughs> but I walked out because the girl was like super like. Entitled. Just acting all like mm-hmm. we supposed to do this, supposed to do mm-hmm. that. And motherfucker tried to get like the bottle of that, uh, what's the, the, the brown shit that costs like 1500 for a shot? Louis? Yeah, some bull, just extra shit, and it's cool. She was, she was trying you. She was. She wasn't trying you. me. She was trying niggas at the table. She was gonna do it. Okay. But she was just mistakenly sitting next to me. So I guess it was like, oh, you, you know, you gotta be. But I, I walked up and I left, and I left because I was just like, man, I just ain't putting up with that shit, and I just feel like that's a lot. A lot of guys probably. Yeah, I mean, it's you know maybe. Yeah, I mean, the day they be like, well, women be like, well, the dating pool is fucked up, and it's like, well, y'all are the ones that are pissing in it. Like for real, because the thing by and it's it goes both ways because niggas do some fucked up shit too. I, I will definitely say that, but at the same time, we can't make it any better by having situations where you tell a man, "Oh, the cheesecake factory is low level" or or something it's like. Not. It's like, are we getting to know each other or not? It's like, yeah, we getting to know each other, man. I, I want mean, let me be interested. Let me walk, I take agree. Do I even like you first? Let me see I if like, I even like your. Ass. I like cheesecake factory, but speaking from a woman's perspective, in nowadays. If a person took me to the Cheesecake Factory, I would probably look at them a certain type of way. But Why? let me just tell you this. I like the Cheesecake Factory. Like, we go to the Cheesecake Factory. Well, I like talking it. about us, though. I know that. But I'm saying I feel like that's not... I just... I don't feel like it's say a first what you date say. place. I feel like that's like... So what's the first place date for you? No, listen. I feel like 
for a grown man, that's not a first date place. So you know, it, it feels like like if you're in college or wow. that's just me. It's, mm-hmm. it, it's like for a younger um, couple, not like an older couple. I just I feel like you're. It's not a. I'm trying to see how I can word so it. So where it's do not you? Like what, a, what's up? What where do you? Yeah, like go, what would you say? Your yeah, first date. The, you're trying to go to yeah. Philippe Child. You trying no, to go? No, no, no. I told you I wouldn't even mind if we went to like because you seen they had ice cream was a ice cream day, a coffee day, all of that stuff was on there as a plate. Bowling is on there where you can't go. I don't mind those places like because that's something that I like. Like mm. I like a little. So you, you don't want do to go picnic. cheesecake bread, but you want to go to a coffee day. You do a picnic at a park for me, and I would be like, oh, this is so cute. But you know, it's just it's different women that have different type of standards and and they expect different things but okay. i personally feel like cheesecake factory is is like i said i like cheesecake you can't factory. defend this list EJ. no, no i'm way. not defending it at all because okay. like i said there's a lot of places on there that we i love and i like um but as far as a first date i would feel away if i was taken to olive garden or something like that on the first date. i will say that now to, no to, 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 to credit Apple that Bees, i will say this like i think that when you say first date because the because because we're talking about you know first impressions are everything, mm-hmm. and you want to obviously put your best foot forward, but as a nigga, you gonna do some some groundwork before you even get to that point. Mm-hmm. I just feel like you should mm-hmm. to test this female out to see what she on and see what kind of like headspace that she's that that, that she's right, at. Right, right. Can I take this girl? To you know what type of woman you already know what type time right? we on yeah, before yeah. you even get to that point. Exactly. So if you do that research before that, y'all been talking, y'all been gigging all week and texting, doing back and forth bullshit like that. So you kind of know. What type of time? See, she I might on. be on some mind trick shit. I might want to take you to Cheesecake That's Factory true. just to see where you is, just to see what kind of just nigga you is. Exactly. And then I might fuck you up and take you to some ball and big boy shit and spend five six hundred. Yeah, I mean, just to see if you you even ready. To fucking uh, nigga, you worth my time. Are oh, you worth my time? Do my I money. even like you? Do I even like because you? Because you can dress up That's three, four true. times. That don't, right. mean you shit. don't mean shit. Right. I right. want to talk to you and make sure I can put you around some other people that's right. intelligent and know how to have a conversation. And that fuck my whole situation. Outside Instagram exactly. and little mm-hmm. baby and shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, come on, man. No, that's, listen. So, that's all. I agree. Man, you know how it is. I don't have to have a, a first date. You don't have to have a five, six hundred dollar date, Robert. I ain't some of my that. best dates have been. I never said I did. I know, I know. Some of my best dates, I always say. To have a plan without a plan, it's like you make room for po- for the possibilities, but you have a structure in terms mm-hmm. of the date because you never know where that can happen. Some of the best dates have been in the parking lot at Quick Trip, and then we go to the strip club after. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Then the girl be like, "I had so much fun tonight because I never would have thought to do that." And, and I then gotta go get do back that. to where it's just you and the person connected, connecting, and, vibe and that's what it is, man. It's all about a vibe. That's what a relationship is. All, I feel like if you vibe. take the time to learn me, like you said before that first date, and you like you go through my social media, whatever, and you see what I like, and then you take me somewhere that I like, even if it's not a five-star restaurant or something, then I'd be like, oh, man, he, he did. And, and he took some time. And, to, yeah, he, and what's sad, half of the girls that fucking on Instagram that look cute and they look, and they all, because they understand, Instagram is a highlight reel, guys. Right. Mm-hmm. They're not showing That's you all it they is, can't pay their rent or some nigga putting their hair through a wall or some bullshit like that. Mm-hmm. Understand, guys. Half of these girls ain't never even been to them fucking restaurants. They just want to <laughs> go, okay? But in defense to some of the women, there are some men, babe, Sugar there daddies. are some men. Yeah, not even, old niggas. Not even old <laughs> they dudes. Sure, There's they, some young they, dudes, too. Girl, when these young girls go on them fucking five-star dates, I guarantee you they don't show the fucking plate. They are not but showing the niggas. But there's some dudes, babe, that will wine and dine a woman yeah, on the first man, date okay. because, like I said earlier, they're trying to impress that woman. And they might not do it again, but that first date, they trying to, or the first couple of days, they're trying to put out all the stops they got to yeah. get that woman to either give them what they want or and then after that it might stop. I so mean, you, know, you, you just you you never you know. Mad, yeah, I you always say the trunk you ain't giving that, that that ass up after them four days. <laughs> right. I'm just telling you, it's, it's exactly. a dirty game out here for y'all. Mm-hmm. Don't play with these niggas because look, these motherfuckers balling going crazy them first four or five days. Them niggas is expecting some. They are. Because at the end true. of the day they're gonna replace your ass because you know every day somebody turned twenty one. That's true. Every day. <laughs> And like I say, look, we grown, so if you if you gonna let me hit on the first night, I'm just saying. Really? Well, look, you got to know Every that. Every day's a man turning fifty too and wants some sugar. I see that she go. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> want some sugar. Sugar. Make him sound old as shit. Right. 
<laughs> the nigga with all the keys on one ring and shit. Come here, baby girl. Go on to my van, girl. Go on to my van. I'm going to get you a soda out of there. I'm going to take you around now to that little, uh, that, 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 that little sizzle show. Right. I want to rub on my thigh. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Well, anyway, anyway. Shit, John, I think it's the longest we ever talked. I know, yeah. man. We Thank you, bro, for the case of D. Yeah, Absolutely. they were good. You Absolutely. got anything going on? Anything new you want to um, talk just about? Just working on You know, so season about to come up, bro. Yeah, Thanksgiving. Man, yes. my favorite. My favorite. We having friends. Holidays. Oh, okay. That's cool. I think it's going like, to be. That's so that's either going to be at Raven's house or Shantira's house. But Shantira said she got to get some furniture and stuff for her. So we I just found this She did not say that. She didn't say that. <laughs> but no, we either gonna do it at our house, Raven House, or Chantier's. Okay, I'm down. So yeah. we don't need you to cook that night. I'm just pulling. Yeah. Everybody, no, everybody no. has to bring something. Addition a game. Cool. So that's what I'm we're down. Doing. It's the dinner with Avery's friends giving. Yes. Can't wait. All right, well, cool. thank you, man. Tell Absolutely. me on Instagram, bro. Follow me at Chef John twenty seven. You can follow me on TikTok at Chef John. Thank you, bro. Yes, thank sir. You. Chef John, ladies and gentlemen, give him a hand round yes. round of applause. Yeah, man, so the food was amazing. Shout it out was, to Chef John, of course, with the quesadillas yes. vibe. Pulled pork quesadillas. Pulled pork quesadillas. Yummy. How you doing? I'm good. So you ready for the um game questions? Game questions? Yeah, you know, our little conversation. Oh, no, you be cards. going left with them things sometimes. Uh, <laughs> now go ahead. I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> so you want to pick them or you want to? You just read one off to me. Mm. Oh, what no. could <laughs> other couples learn from us? <laughs> Uh, what could other couples learn from us? Mm-hmm. I don't know, babe. I think, uh, you know, we have our ups and downs, but, uh, I think for the most part, we, uh, have a, a great friendship that, uh, I guess kind of pours through you know, social media and, you know, in real part, in real life, uh, I like to think we're good friends and we, and it shows and, you know. I I love you. I think people could learn that although we're in a relationship that's, that's, you know, like a public relationship, we still go through real life things that every other relationship goes through. Like we still have our arguments. We still, you know, we still have our disagreements. We still have uh, things we don't like about each other. We still have all those type of things that normal couples go. (laughs) We are real human beings and we go through things some days we can't stand each other. Some days we love each other guts. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think they could learn that from us that no matter, even though we're in the public eye and we appear to be the perfect couple, we all go through things. Nothing's we're perfect not. about exactly. the relationship. But, but we just work through it. I didn't say any of that stuff, by the way. But <laughs> thanks, babe. You're welcome. Appreciate you. You're welcome. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> <laughs> what did your friends think about me when we were dating, when we were first dating? Oh, uh, yeah, you was going to stop the show? Hmm? You was going to stop all the, the madness? Oh, all the fun and all the pool parties, <laughs> the naked topless pool parties and all that Damn, stuff? Damn, Oh, sorry. Why would you say that? Man, a lot of people's daughters were there. Well, they don't know whose daughters was there. but like, uh, They know. <laughs> well, what? Did, so that's what your friends thought of me? Uh, I was for sure, in. yeah. You was like, nah, you ain't taking it serious, is you? I'm like, I think I am. Dang. She gives me goosebumps. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, we can't stop the parties. And I think I actually threw like two more parties with you there. And then you, like, you seen it. Mm-hmm. And then she did like some cool ass friend shit. Like she cleaned up the party and made the girls leave. That shit was, I was like, God damn. And I was like, yeah, I was like, I told y'all, she the one, man. She's doing all this weird girlfriend, boyfriend shit. So. Yeah, yeah, it's I mean, over with y'all. This shit over with. It's the last one. So that's, that's what they. That's what they thought nah, about. No, nah, no, of course. I mean, mm-hmm. for the my, yeah, of course, yeah. No, nah, I was, I was in Rick James vibe, man. Hmm. But yeah, you shut it down. And then no, after that, then it was like, I hope she's the one because you know, tend to. In this, was this in, the, was this the first time or was this the? No, nah, the first time wasn't time. super serious. Okay, okay. You know okay. But the okay. second time for sure because I mean, after that you had a baby. And then it was really the like, second time, yeah. It was like, are you dead ass serious? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I would hope so. And I remember that party I took you to, the all white party at Compound. And that was it. That was it. Everybody was like, oh, oh yeah, shit. Like, this shit is serious. Like, walked in holding y'all hands. wearing white together, holding hands and going to parties and shit. Like, yeah. That was I, the second time. And then I got all the DMs. Well, they weren't DMs then. It was Twitter. But speaking of, of, of second time around. Yeah. Is this like spin the block season or something? Like you notice 
Nelly is back with Ashanti, and they're doing their thing. Yeah, I just did uh, his just Halloween did his, party. You DJed his birthday party. I DJed party. his birthday Halloween party, and man, they in love, man. It looks like it, right? Yeah, but you know what? He knows her already, so it's like, see, that's you know, I'm sure. Like, and they had to go. You know, like I told you, even with us, like sometimes you had to you go through go a little break and and deal bullshit. with other people to see what. But we he really revealed wanted. a lot of stuff. He was like telling us, like, I think I played that song. He, remember that, um, the song with uh. If it wasn't for the money, he said that song. Was, well, hold on, no, 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 no. It was a song with Rick Ross. Sorry, the song with Rick Ross. Whatever song with Nelly and Rick Ross, uh, he said that song was about Ashanti, and he. Uh, I don't think nobody knew that, and he said it. So you can Google it and listen to the verse. But he was like, "Oh, your man's a chump." You know, he's talking about her. He's talking about her, and he and he said it. he he didn't want to say it until the end, but I could really tell they're in love. And she knows him. She bought him a car. It's just you know, nice things. Just Sometimes it takes being apart from a person. You know they said if, if you love a person, let them go. And if it comes back, then that's how you know. Like sure. Maybe that's the who truth. Was the people up? Uh, who else got back with their exes? Mm. Uh, Meech and Summer Walker have been spotted out together again. They just they know. But, I mean, you, they think, did that think, whole public breakup I thing. I think she liked that toxic shit because an <laughs> album going to come out of it. Man. She like... Keisha Cole back in the day. Like, she just got to got be in them goofy relationships. You never know. Maybe they needed some time apart to go and dibble and dab in other stuff and people. No. And then <laughs> <laughs> then realize, like, dang, you know what? He wasn't that bad or she wasn't that bad at all. And yeah, I I'm telling y'all, 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 y'all chasing these Cheesecake Factory chicks, man. This shit is. <laughs> oh, my God. You ain't, ain't going to let it, it go. It ain't Gucci out here. I'm t- I got single go. friends. Them niggas, man, they be calling me like, bro, please, bro. Can you just clone shot it, man? Oh, is that right? Oh. Sure. Mm-hmm. Shut up, Edmund. Everybody can't get it. Can't oh, get my it. God. I'm Here just we like... go. Here we go. All right. Well, <laughs> that is. That's it? The end of my game. Yeah. I that was to... it? Yeah. You can't get. You ain't give me nothing to heart. Uh, it was no hard questions in here. Oh, okay, cool. You want, a di- you want a new one? I mean, you can give me one more. All right. What's you your favorite time, right? thing? What's your favorite thing you like to see me wearing? And nothing doesn't count. Oh bullshit. <laughs> shit. <laughs> What's my favorite thing I like to see you in? Uh-huh. And nothing does not count. Oh man. Okay, so it's my first time ever telling anybody this. <laughs> oh, I like when you wear big t shirts to bed because I know I'm gonna get some ass. Sorry. She has certain attire she wears to sleep. And big t shirt mean no draws. And no draws mean, hey. Can I come over? <laughs> I know you're tired, but what's the, what these is the, access. What is this? That's why my little kid thing. I'd be like, hey, can I spoon? You know. Oh, that's just me personally. That's my little thing. But any other thing, draws, big t shirt <laughs> with, with pants that match. No, that shit over with. Oh my Ain't gosh. getting nothing that night. But big t shirt and, and um, cocoa buttered up. How you do when you do after the shower? You all moisturize. I do that after every shower. Nah, nigga, but some, I just know. I know. <laughs> I know when is that. I know when it's going down. Okay. So sorry, guys. Yeah, <laughs> not sorry, but yeah, yay, right. yay for me. Well, that, <laughs> that's, that's the end. I'm <laughs> sorry, that's it. Big T-shirt. What's up? Uh, All right, fan mail, guys. We got to get into it right now. What's up, Mama? What you got? All right. Okay. This. <laughs> this one says. Hi, DJ Holiday and Ebony. I need help. I just, (laughs) I went through my boyfriend's phone and I found out that he's messaging other men, but not in the way that you think. He's gay. And I. (laughs) Why are you laughing? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And I don't know. What to do? I don't know if I should tell him that I went through his phone or if I should confront him and ask him about the men or please help me because I'm so confused and I'm actually disgusted now knowing that. What should I do? Well, don't let him hit you no more. Uh, so. Why? That's so what? Huh? That's so huh? What? Don't let him. Why? Have sex. But he probably wore a condom. No, ain't no nigga wearing no condoms in 2023. How did, oh, my God. What? I don't, I don't think so. No, baby, they make pills and stuff now for stuff like that. What? I'm just saying. This is a whole different. Ebony, everybody, the whole staff is like nodding yes. I like 
When the fuck are niggas buying condoms? Like, come on, y'all. I'm so... What? I'm like flabbergasted right well, now. Guys are not wearing condoms in 2023. I guarantee you, you became single tomorrow. There ain't no nigga grabbing no magnum like, oh, man, we got to play it safe. What is up with the women in there? Oh, my God. But anyway, back to the question. That's just... Here, right to CVS. What? Come on, man. I feel like you should tell them, like, hey, listen, I went through your phone, and I seen... If it was me and I went through his phone, I would tell him what I saw in his phone. Like, uh, huh? I said, yeah, that's fucked yeah, up. Yeah, you, you know I would, but I feel like you should tell him. Like, listen, I went through your phone, and we need to have a discussion about what's going on. Are they married? Behind, no, just her boyfriend. Oh, uh, you got to get rid of that So he on name. the down low. Like, yeah, that's some Dwight Howard shit. Uh, that is like some But Dwight I fuck with Dwight Howard. <laughs> no, I fuck with Dwight Howard. And I and I have love for him. We we went to Six Flags and had a good time. We did. Uh, we he did. went to a party with me, and I'm not saying I said that that because somebody assumed that he's gay. I no, don't know if he's gay. No, well, but he also said, "I mean, none of your fucking business what he's doing in his that's bedroom." That's very true. A lot of people are and into I don't think all he's types gay. of things. I don't think he's gay. I think he might be he just interested in having fun, or he might be like an open lifestyle of whoever coming in his bedroom and that's just what people do yeah some people ha- you know? like some people don't see sex like as yeah. far as male or female they just they just some like niggas might have, what they, they like he might have paid two gay niggas to have sex in his room and he watched us who knows Ooh. niggas is in the gay shit some men do like to watch gay porn and that's not and that's what i'm trying to say that. but i don't know if he gay and i i don't mean to offend you do i if you hear to see this i don't think you're i don't know if you're gay or not but it's your business if you are brother and that's fine. That's true. But that's some what gay shit. What happens behind closed doors? And that's stuff. some gay shit, and you need to confront that dude and tell him that you know he gay because it could turn into something else, and then you, it could be, you could catch something. Yeah, you know I was about to say, could, since men don't like to use condoms in 2023, apparently, so it could lead to diseases. It could lead to all type of things, and that's not something that that's you want. That's the part I'm being serious about. And then the fact that, honey, you getting cheated on. Hello, you definitely need to address that. Well, hold on, that. is that cheating? Yes. That's cheating. Anything that you cannot tell He's your exploring. girlfriend or boyfriend about is cheating. If you're lying, if you're hiding, if you're deleting so I'm messages, your so if, I'm, I'm if you're ma- sneaking in messaging, all of that is a form of cheating. Okay, cool. I was yes. going to make it different. but Go ahead. Cool. So if, a, if you find out that a woman was cheating, you're a man, and you, you find out a girl was cheating mm-hmm. with another girl, but she bad, though. <laughs> What you saying? I should invite her to come back. I'm saying and, is that and be a part and of our I relationship. And I see like, oh damn, you and this girl, you know, scissoring like, is it cool? <laughs> like, am I on your ass? I'm gonna confront you, but uh-huh. I'm not gonna be like super mad. Now, if it's a stud, yeah, I piss. <laughs> All them niggas, they they, they act like niggas, but you know, what do you? Oh, think? so you think it's different for women versus for men. sure, for sure. But he gay though. They, I mean. He definitely, she never, confront him. She needs to confront him. They need to on. talk about it. And I feel like yeah. he lying and he being sneaky and he messing with me and behind your back. And but they just dating. It's not super serious. How do you yeah. know? They didn't say how long they've been dating. Okay, well, she left out important parts <laughs> to lead me to judge him in a certain way. So You're right. Um, well, you're right. You know, I y'all say just, confront him. I say y'all need to talk about it. And I say y'all need to make a decision as if you're going to stay or not because it's obvious he like men and women. So is that something you're going to welcome into your bedroom mm. or are you going to leave him alone and let him have his fun on the other side without you? Them niggas go to Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> and that's the end of the show. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. But what? thank you guys so much. Sorry, I thought, hope we could help. Yeah, right? <laughs> We can help. We help. Listen, I apologize in advance for him this episode. I don't yeah. know what is wrong with him what did I this do? episode, but he is on one. I'm on one? You trying to calm me down? Don't you do had that. steam coming out your shirt earlier oh, today. You told me my Kevin Samuel moment. It's cool, y'all. You know, shit happens. Anyway, that is the end of our show, Tone guys. it down, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. We're going to try to stay consistent after this episode as long as Travis doesn't break any more hard drives at TTP Productions. If he doesn't break any more hard drives, we will keep them coming for you back to back to back as promised like last time. 
follow us at Dinner with the Averys. If you have any questions or if you want to send us fan mail, you need some advice, we will try to help you with it. Send us an uh, <laughs> email at asktheaveries at gmail, or you can send us a DM. Oh, my God. Okay, let's rewind that, y'all. <laughs> Can't do it in one breath, huh? Okay. Follow us at Dinner with the Aries. If you have any questions, if you have any fan mail or anything you want to know on the show, you can email us at asktheaveries at gmail.com. Yes. Or you can DM, DM us at Dinner with the Aries. Cool. You can follow me at Risky Business 23. DJ Holiday. Follow me. I mean, <laughs> I don't want to say anything else. And that's the end of our show. Thank y'all. Y'all have a good week. See y'all next time. Bye. Bye.